First World War, so captain. And he took it to the Second World War on Normandy, but each day as a bird colonel. And uh, I took it to Vietnam for two years, so it was quite a family heirloom. Yeah. It's almost 20 years. Like a 1911 45. But, but, any, but anyway, I. He was also a senator. He was a mayor of the town. He was a head of the National Guard unit, uh, mayor, state senator, publisher, editor of the newspaper, very prominent person. And I was a page, uh, and I stayed in his room, and that's where they used to stay. All the senators and representatives come to town. Most of them had come to town by railroad, and the railroad was right there. And they'd walk over to the Capitol at two How have you been doing? Do you remember me, Roy McMillan? I do. I have a book for Beverly, and I didn't know if he was going to go to the rally tonight. She is in El Salvador. I know, but I but I, I got to leave her this book because I brought it last time. You have it with you now? I, I didn't. I didn't even think to bring it because I didn't even think about you being here today. I, 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 I think I'm going to be there tonight. If not, give it to anybody. Okay. Yeah. Give it to uh, I'm staying with Harriet or give it to anybody. Yeah. They, they'll all get it on to Okay. Me. Okay. Yeah. So he's uh, his his last name was Sanders. He's Colonel. Yeah, Sanders. yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I stayed in that old hotel, and it it was uh, closed down for like fifty years. The it King, closed down in the. But they still early, have the same name. Fifties King Edwards Hotel. Yeah. And they renovated and opened it back up about three to five years ago. Okay. So it was fifty years, and it was just closed down. Yeah. Are you familiar with the Peabody in Memphis? It's no. one of the famous hotels in the country. This was kind of like our Peabody. It was okay. the, the, the major place, like downtown, and a lot of people congregated uh, during the segregation days. Okay. In the year 2000, I went to the Smithsonian with some of my grandchildren. They had a big exhibit about the, the, the best inventions for mankind, the last thousand years, the last hundred years. You know what the number one invention by mankind in the 20th century was according to the birth control pills birth control that's the worst in uh, the splitting the atom was third and flight man flight under power was second and, uh, and, 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 and that's that's like it's the worst thing that's ever happened to the human race right. the birth control you talk about uh, why would god god of nature make it where a woman knows when she's fertile if there wasn't a purpose for it there's a purpose for all things in nature. Right. You know, the, the average woman in America is 1.9 children. Yeah. Last year was the first year in American history more whites were buried than most. My great grandmother's. And more than half of the children paid for deliveries last year were paid for by Medicaid. That is a country going down. Oh, yeah. There's, there, there, yeah, well, there was a book written in 46 by Carl Zimmerman called Family and Civilization. And he predicted, you know, the end, you know, the the the, the, the decline of the family.